Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be taking a look at the Air Jordan 3 Silhouette, this time in the Midnight Navy colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> to another unboxing and review for joining us for the first time welcome in be sure to hit that subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing and styling segments huge shout out to the jordan fam for sending these my way today we'll be talking about the air jordan 3 silhouette in the midnight navy colorway which is very classy looking at first sight so we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i styled this cool color combination then we'll conclude with how much these are going for on the retail market let's jump right into it. So as far as the quality goes, definitely nailed it with some really premium white leather on the upper here. As you can see, it's in that tumbled variation. Then we've got a nice, simple gray uh, leather portion of the tongue. And then on the top portion of the tongue, we've got a white smooth leather with that navy or midnight navy tone for the embroidered Jumpman logo with some simple white laces. Let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. around the side panels completely filled with that tumbled white leather and then some nice lighter gray hue variations popping out underneath those white eyelets as we wrap around to the back we've got the air jordan jumpman logo in that midnight navy tone pops perfectly off of that white leather and then we do have a white pull tab underneath behind the heel you're getting more of that midnight navy and then the interior is in gray and then the insole is in a navy and white finish then as we wrap around to the lateral side same exact color combination with that high quality tumbled white leather and then we've got the elephant print in that nice charcoal gray with hits of that darker black in between then the sneaker is completed with this clean just midnight navy and white midsole with a gray navy and white outsole as far as the box goes you are getting a really nice box it definitely does match and resemble the sneaker perfectly with the midnight navy tone for the Jumpman logo and that elephant print on the side paneling and white to bring it all together. Let's take a look at those last and final details. As fire size and fit goes, I would say six your size in these. I am a seven and a half and I definitely like wearing thicker socks, but these fit me perfectly, especially for my slender, narrow, high arch feet. All right, so as far as styling goes, definitely a really easy to coordinate color combination. I do think that this is very minimalistic in color and tone. So for the first look, I decided to keep it pretty simple with some white cargo pants. And then I wore just a nice uh, striped blue button down down shirt and then I layered that with a white denim jacket. And for the 
second look went with a cream and black striped tank with a matching maxi skirt. <laughs> Final look, I wore a more athletic look, so I decided to go with a nice training shirt that was long sleeve and black with some nice, simple black uh, cycling shorts that were Nike in a black finish. So as far as retail goes, these retailed at $200. They're currently still available on some of the Jordan brand sites or retailers. Uh, so be sure to snack pair if you haven't already. That's it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We'll catch you all next episode.